Hello, ladies, gentlemen, non-binaries, and everybody else under the rainbow of our wonderful community. How are you doing today? Welcome back with another video of sexy, spicy September. I keep forgetting the second word now. Today, I am with Twitch Chat live on Twitch, looking at Hummingbird's Crown. Again, every day in September, I'm giving you content either on YouTube or on Twitch. So if you want to come and check us out live, all my social links are down in the description box below. You should come hang out with us on Twitch. It's fun. Sometimes. We just had a cookie discourse. The things you miss. The things you miss. But again, we are here with Hummingbird's Crown by, oh, who is it by? By Fable Novel. I love that. I love that dev team name. Um, Hummingbird's Crown. Ren is a hardworking book editor who has recently turned 30 and begins to ruminate about her life. I am turning 28 this year. I hate. I love how games are getting older, but I also hate how I want the games to get older because I am getting older. Moving on. Her only solace is gaming and her small group of two online friends. I have more than two. I'm all, okay, I, I have more than two, so that's, that's a good sign. Kaneria and Lonan, who she sometimes chats and plays with. What does it mean to be an adult? Why does my job make me feel incomplete? And why do I feel like I don't fit in anywhere? On May 31st, taking advantage of an upcoming long weekend, Canaria suggests that they should finally meet in person at the upcoming GameCon, a medium-sized local event from Solstice City. Unfortunately, the day of the event itself, a terrible accident happens at the Eon building, the place where it's being held. Ren panics and doesn't know what to do until... Huh? Why is it suddenly May 31st again? Did she just go back in time? So, there are some really cute characters. I did look this time, I'm sorry. Um, we do have some trigger warnings. I just want to make chat a bit, uh, heads up about um, the normal stuff, cursing, if that bothers you, you shouldn't be watching my videos or being in my stream. Um, anxiety, attacks, natural disasters. There's going to be some light flashes and shaking screen, so please be careful of that. Um, as well as, like, some blood and, you know, things along that route. So, at, if at any point you guys need to step away, step away. No video is worth any triggers. It's, it's not worth it. I, I promise you, I will not be mad. And guys... Let's go over to the game. Chat. I'm getting better. I would get better if the game would... Thank you, game. Thank you. Look, now the game... Now the game's just fucking embarrassed me. Okay. Welcome back, chat. Thank you, guys. Thanks for waiting. It's Groundhog Day. Why is it Groundhog Day? Mmm. Sorry, you meant Groundhog Day as in, like, the movie. This painting is gorgeous, is it not? I love this. I want to, like, it's digital, but it looks, it looks like watercolors. So, I was looking at the options. We have very general options that I chose. Again, please let me know, is the sound okay? Um, one thing I really like that is if you hover your mouse over to the right side, then, like, it pops up here as well, so that was really nice. Sounds so far is good. Thank you. Awesome, awesome. So what do we got? So we have start, continue, which I don't have a game, so I can't continue. What's hourglass? What? Oh, it's a memento gallery. Maybe this is the game she plays? She is a gamer. Credits. Stop time. I don't know what that is, but let's let's start. Let's start. Adulthood. I get it. A word that everyone's heard of. A word that society constantly talks about, but no one really knows what it means. When does it start? What does it entail? Some say it's about having a job and paying your bills. Others say it's about coming of age and being allowed to drink alcohol. Legally, that is. There are even some who claim it's all about 
popping your cherry. All in all, people generally agree that adulthood is about being mature and self-sufficient. But in a world that's full of immaturity, in a world where humans are interdependent, is that really enough to describe it? When a bird leaves the nest, it spreads its wings. Can people spread their wings too? Right? Is that what adulthood was about? I thought adulthood was, again, having cookie discourse with random people on the internet. Our room is super cute. Me realizing I have my own, my own apartment and I can bake my room like this if I wanted. I'm also really cheap and I have no money. May 31st, 10.37 p.m. Ren's apartment. Bedroom. Oh yeah! First place again, baby! The gaming gods are not on my side today. What? You're full of shit. What? How do you even get all the best items? Seriously, this game is fucking unfair. Damn right it is. Shouldn't the one in the lead get the worst items to compensate? I keep getting shitty thunderclouds. Why would I need this garbage when I'm in last place? They're talking about Mario Party or Mario Kart. This is, it's Mario Party or Mario Kart. It's, unless you can think of another game that does this to you, but I, I feel, I know, I know. Blah, blah, blah. You're such a sore loser, Lonan. I'm sorry. Who was the one who lost it after I massacred her with my Pokemon team? Pokey? Pokemon? It's, it's Pokemon. We're just changing the spelling and I'm okay with that. That's different. Mm, I don't know, Kana. I think he's got you there. Ren, I thought you'd be on my side. Oh, boo-hoo. He's got the cat. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. They, they, he, Lonan gives off that energy. Okay, I already love... I already love uh, the characters. I love that they have very stark... This is like, this is the gaming friendship! It's so true! <laughs> I'm moving on. I'm not gonna make any joke because I would fuck it up. Anyway. Shut up, Lonin! <laughs> Taking advantage of the upcoming long weekend, Kana, Lonin, and I decided to hang out via D's cord. <laughs> More like D's nuts. So okay, I'm gonna leave. Sorry, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave. Voice chat for one of our usual online gaming sessions. The good kind of sessions. Oh yeah, we're all losers. What do we play next? Anything as long as it's not an MMO. I don't like her. MMOs are my shit, man. Well, RPG MMOs, but... Don't you worry, my dudette. We don't have to, we don't do that shit here. You guys just suck at. We don't talk about MMOs, Canaria. Canara? Can canary. I, th I think it's Canaria because this canary loves meat. <laughs> so I think it's Canaria. That's the connection I'm gonna make. No, but it's not a canary, it's hummingbird. I was trying to make connections with the title in these three. Oh my fucking god, fine, you babies! What then? Oh, there's this game where... No! I didn't even say anything yet! It's another RPG maker horror game, right? M Masaka! How can you read my mind so easily? Sorry, wrong voice. Let me try this again. M Masaka, how can you read my mind so easily? Don't tell me. Were you thinking about playing one to- Lonin? We just played one last week. But it's good! What about animal- Anime Crossing? So sorry. Hummingbird's Crown tried so hard to not get these games names in here. And I'm just out here saying Pokemon, Animal Crossing, uh, Mario Kart. I just... Andrea was a poor attempt at a D's Nuts joke. By me, not, not, the, not the developers. Developers, good job. Me, I suck. 
Girl, you know it. I'm so down for that. You know what? Me too. I haven't played that one in a while. I want to visit your towns again. Same. You guys won't believe the gazillion outfits I made for my avatar. They're the cutest little... Hmm? Who's messaging this late? Ren, are you busy right now? I need you to look at this. My hubby says, said he's applying to a writing contest. Can you believe it? He can't spell to save his life. I'm making the boss a man, if I've said it. He can't spell to save his life, that man. Check for grammar too, please. You're always amazingly fast. That, 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 hold the fuck up. I'm not... What? Why am I checking? This is the bullshit that companies think they can get away with. It's not happening. I went into work early today and I feel like I need to go into work like later or right at the start time later this week just to kind of even out like how much they should expect from me. This was a one time thing because I had to get papers done for first period, but no. Ugh. What's up, Bren? Something wrong. It's my boss. What? Again? He better have a good fucking reason for messaging you this late. Maybe she sent her a meme? It's he, but whatever. She's not you, Lonin. Something something husband, something something contest. Something something do this totally work-related thing for me. Oh dear, my darling doesn't know how to spell the word annoying. Whatever shall I do? <laughs> yeah, that about sums it up. What are you? Her employee or her personal assistant? You're plenty busy with that, uh, memo, whatchamacallit? The memoir, right? That's the one. Yeah, this one really caught me off guard. The author made it about some kind of deja vu experience. To think he wrote a whole book about it is very... Mysterious? Adventurous? Pecu peculiar. Peculiar. You editors and your fancy words. Oh, stop. You're gonna make me blush. Not video editors, dude. You guys are a different race with all your meme vocabulary. <laughs> LOL. Where's the lie? I've always known we were special. Did he just say the word LOL? LOL. He said LOL. LOL. And yes, we do. We do say LOL. Uh, what does she want this time? Just mute her, girl! Honestly, yeah, I think I will- Ren, sweet pea! You won't believe who I just had dinner with! Remember my friend Camilla from gym class? We happened to see each other at the mall. Guess what I found out? Camilla has a nephew who's about your age. I'm not ready to go home and have these same conversations with my family. Why don't you try meeting him? I can set a date for you. Kill me now. Not this shit again. Ren? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Better mute my boss this time. You go, girl. So, are we playing something else, or what? Actually, I think it got a bit late. Hmm, that's true. Oh well, we can just plan a new gaming session later. Sound good? You betcha. You fool! One does not simply plan a gaming session for later. <laughs> Okay, Loden and I are like this, is all I'm saying. I get it. Set a date, Canaria. A date. Can you stop memeing for two fucking seconds, Lonin? We can do it in the group chat later. <laughs> my work here is done. Let's talk soon, my dudettes. See you around, guys. Bye ya! After ending the D's chord. <laughs> I'm gonna giggle. <laughs> That's like saying the number 69. I'm gonna giggle every time. After ending the D's chord voice chat, 
I turned off my computer and prepared my usual bedtime ritual. Chamomile tea and a proper teeth brushing. Oh. <laughs> Did they send a meme already? Flock of gamers, yes. Guys, I almost forgot. Don't tell me you didn't defrost your meat again. Shit! <laughs> LMAO. I was actually joking. Lamau, it's Lamau. Okay, I'm ready now. Kana the Hedgehog. Gotta go fast, Lamau. You babies. Sorry, couldn't resist. What is it, Kana? The stage is yours, dudette. Hehehe. <laughs> Wouldn't you want to know? Lol, come on. Don't leave us hanging. <laughs> Random mouse goes across the screen. We demand answers! Three tickets to GameCom, bitches! Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. It... It can't be! Are those the legendary GameCon tickets? Ding ding ding! OMG Kana! I got them from my bro! He's actually one of the event planners for the GameCon. That's so cool! I know, right? But don't tell him I said that, Elameo. Anyways! There'll be a bunch of stuff! Board games, indie games, merch. We should totally go together! Yeah, we do! Hi! You in, Ren? I know it's a bit sudden, but if we go, the trio will finally be able to meet. IRL! I mean, can you believe Loaded met my bro, but not me? What? How? They won't tell me! I don't get these losers. It's a mystery. Whatever! Oh yeah, that reminds me. There'll be a game booth for the Gidgets game! Holy shit, are you serious? Is it awesome or is it awesome? We gotta go! Hell yeah! Besides, it's a long weekend. Yeah, finally. Uh, well, I actually have work tomorrow. You're shitting me. Really? Boo! Boo! Welcome to the world of freelance photography! You guys have no idea how many people email me for work during holidays. Scratch that. Especially during holidays. Ugh. But I saved the weekend for this. Go queen. No one shall interfere in the first official meeting of the flock of gamers. They better not or I will commit murder. So Ren? Well... It'd be awesome to finally meet you guys in person. Plus, I could learn something new. For once, it'll be nice to relax and be surrounded by things I'm passionate about. Uh, something I'd be passionate about. Me, me at World Cosplay Summit. For once, it'll be nice to relax and be surrounded by things I'm passionate about. Couldn't agree more, my dudette. You think we'll have enough time to play enough games? Ren. They'll have to physically take us out of the building before we try them all. I'm with you all the way, partner. Heart. Oh, wait. But where is GameCon held? You all live in Solstice City too, right? Yeet. Yep. Cal- uh, good. Galvin told me they recently opened this new building called Eon? Apparently his boss is dying to rent it. Whoa, is that good? What's wrong with the building from last year? Well, for one, the location. It really was in the middle of fucking nowhere. Ugh, don't remind me. I couldn't go last year. Me neither. I could, but it was a nightmare traveling that far. But anyway, that's not all. Eon building supposedly can hold about 3,000 people. <laughs> also, remember how I told you about Gidget's game devs have a booth? It's because a lot of game devs this year are coming from overseas. Okay, that's so cool. You betcha. Poor bro had to get a whole box of converters because of that. 
Lamau. And finally, the best thing about this place, drum roll. I'll add it for the sound effect. Is that it's only one block away from the Solstice's main street. O-M-G. I know, right? It's as if all the planets have aligned. I'm so glad it's closer this time. Yeah, it's kind of a midpoint from all our homes, right? Nice detective skills, dude. I tr excuse me, I try. Let's meet this Saturday then, okay? June 4th, don't forget. Can't wait. Same. We'll finally see each other in person. I really want to meet them. Well, they act the same in real life. I mean, we already voice chat, but... <sighs> okay, I got really into the voice acting there, so I want to take a minute and talk to chat. Have you ever played Boyfriend Dungeon? I have not. Um, I do like the characters. I've watched people play the game, and I've, I've seen the characters and the romances, but because I've seen it, I kind of don't want to play. Also... I don't want to have to play fighting games in order to get my romance. The only thing I will do that for is, um, like, Dragon Age or Mass Effect. So I don't know. A lot of people have said that I should play Boyfriend Dungeon. I'm just not sure. Right? Ren is a whole fucking mood. My bro works for the GameCon as the indie version of my uncle works for Nintendo. Ugh. <laughs> So true, though. I just hope I don't disappoint them. Before we go on, I want to take just a quick break. Um, cause I've been streaming for about an hour and this would be a nice place to cut it. Um, so everyone, they just ran the fucking ads. My bad. But all of you guys, thank you if you do watch the ads. I really appreciate it. Go take a break. Go get some water. Go hydrate. I want to run to the restroom personally um, because I've been drinking a lot of water today. Well, recently. Um, and I know ads just went, but I will leave you guys some clips in the meantime. So go take a break. I'll be right back. You won't miss anything. Welcome back, everyone. I won't lie. I just wanted you guys to see me geeking out over uh, Lana Benico show. Thanks again for letting me take that break. I hope it was short enough. But guys, yeah, ye old SWOTOR days, more like old, ye old shit lighting days. Welcome back, everyone. Hope you grab some water. Again, I'm gonna hydrate again. Uh, hope you stretched a little. All that jazz. Okay, so June 4th, 12.07 p.m. Solstice City, Main Street. So this is the day of GameCon. Ooh, got the music back. Guess I'm here after all. Just one more block. A few days later, I arrived at Solstice City's Main Street, which was, like Kana said, just a block away from the Eon building. It was finally time for the flock of gamers to meet. It's a bit early. Should I wait for them outside or grab a snack at the cafe? Can't really enter the building through and through without my ticket after all. Oh, look. Oh, no, it's Lonin. Oh, look, there she is. Ren! Those voices. My internet friends are so cute. It's like my IRL internet friends. My IRL internet friends are also super fucking cute. Look at them. Mm. I don't know if they're romanceable or not. Oh my God. I did, mm, they're just so cute. But also, like, they're, they're established friends, and I feel weird about that. And before people go into the whole, well, you like Garrus, and Garrus is like the, you know, the friendship romance. Garrus has never in my mind been the friendship romance. Garrus is the... The only fucking romance. He is the supportive romance. He's never the friend romance for me. He's a friend romance for other people, not for me. They are absolutely adorable, sleepy. A tall lady who could barely contain her excitement, and a lanky guy smiling mischievously. It was them. The flock of gamers. My flock of gamers. Canaria and Lonan. My friends. 
Girl, oh my God, it's really you. Face of beaming, Canaria took my hands in hers and started jumping in place like a little kid. <laughs> it's nice to see you too, Kana. And then there was a sudden gulp of air. Le gasp. Could it be? Rennie? The Rennie who has incomparable defense skills in Pokemon battles? I love his eyes. I love Lonin's eyes. I love that color. The one and only Oh Lonin Sensei, master of type elements. Wait until you see my puzzle solving skills in Professor Clayton. Nah, let's go with this one. The one and only Oh Lonin Sensei, master of type elements. Sacre bleu! What is this witchcraft? My secret identity has been discovered! That's the only thing I know how to say, and I think I still butchered the pronunciation. You guys know I'm still here, right? But of course, who could ever forget Canaria the Great? With her unmatched, powerful moves. That's what I thought! <laughs> Anyways, is no one really going to say it, or am I going to have to get it out of you? Lonin and I looked at each other confused. What? <sighs> Can't be helped. I hope you guys are ready. Gulp. It's... Group hug time! Ah! All the art is great, but I am a huge fan of chibi art. Chibi art! I love it. This is adorable. Oh, I love it. Oh, I've wanted to do this for months. My babies have finally come to mama. She's taller than us. We love a tall queen. We love a tall queen and we love a geeky king. <laughs> God, don't scare us like that. I thought it was your birthday or something. What are you on, dude? You know my birthday's in December. The most recent one was Ren's. Can you really blame me? There was a time when you said you wished you could change your birthday just so you didn't have to share it with Galvin. Oh, now that you mention it, I did say that, didn't I? But guess what? I only half meant it. But dumb. <laughs> half meant because she must be a twin because they have the same birthday. I'm walking away now. Bye. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> My sides. See, follow Ren's example, dude. It's not like you'd have it's not like you to be such a downer. <gasps> you take that back. And so our weird back and forth continued for a few more minutes. Oh, they're so cute. I love the friendships. June 4th, 12:48 p.m. Eon Building. GameCon main area. Hey, I'm not hiding alone in from you guys right now. I'm all the way in the corner. Hell yeah, son. Whoa, get a load of all those stands. And cosplayers. Can't wait to take pictures of everything. Oh yeah, game con time. Let's -a go. It's -a me, a Mario. <laughs> I just get all of Lonin's references. I'm sorry. I just get all of the references. I hate how my makeup is running and I can feel it. It's pissing me off. Dang it. Yeah! My kids in a candy store, we went around gawking at everything, pausing whenever we found something interesting. Kana took... Kana? Kana. Canary. So it'd be Kana, right? Can I think it's Canaria, so Canna? Mm, I don't know. So I'm saying Canaria, like Canary, because that's her username. I think I'm gonna say Kana for short and Canaria for her full name. Kana took a bunch of photos of the event, cosplayers especially, while Lonan semi interviewed people on their experiences about GameCon. And he almost lost it when he spotted his favorite gaming. That's a that's an actual you tuber you, not not a you but a you tuber. Of course, we made sure to visit every game booth that caught our eye too. 
It was GameCon after all, and boy was there a lot to see. Board games, card games, casual mobile games, VR games, and all sorts of computer indies of different genres. There really was something for every type of gamer out there. And you could even buy merch. I need more merch, to be honest. <laughs> Coming back. If only they had added food stalls too. It had been perfect. And then the moment, the moment finally came. It was time to visit the booth we were most excited about. June 4th, 2.02 p.m. Eon Building, GameCon, Detective Gidget's booth. Ah, it's so cute! I have to take a picture. Scratch that. A lot of pictures. Oh my god, the banner and the sign. Ah, look, they even have acrylic stand figures for sale. Oh, that's cute. Uh, I'm assuming the acrylic stands are the ones that are on the desk. Sorry. Those are actually cute. I like the flock. I like the detective. Gidget and the mysterious thievery, probably of Hoppity Town. Hoppity Town. Well, well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit. Exactly. Sh shut up and take my money! <laughs> what he said! Guys, let's take a picture together! A bunch of pictures, and merch buying later. Oh, that was so fun! My wallet's screaming now. Right there with you, buddy. If only my stomach wasn't screaming too. I'm freaking starving. Mm hmm. Oh, it's from Galvin! Seems the ga game dev's panel is starting soon. Get out of here! It's past six already? Funny how time works, right? If only it went by faster when I'm working. Amen. Anyway, Bro really outdid himself this time. Went out of his way to invite a really nice group. Ah, that's so cool. I can't wait to ask them a bunch of questions. Right? Galvin, our hero. <sighs> what do I do? I'm beat. I just want to go home. But they look so excited. I don't want to disappoint them. Oh, that reminds me. Ren, I have to in introduce you to Galvin, too. He's a bit rough around the edges, but he's a good guy. I think you'll like him. You know, I understand. I understand not wanting to disappoint your friends. Um... But also, like, if you need food, you need food. Sometimes, sometimes that makes it for you. Sometimes you're like, I'm tired, but food makes everything better. Hey, Icy, just a heads up. I would appreciate it if you, like, didn't say if other people were, you know, going live in my chat. It's just kind of like basic streaming etiquette. I get notifications when Boom Duck goes live and stuff, so just a little heads up. Why don't you try meeting him? I can set a date for you. Oh, that's from mom. Oh wait, I need to wipe something down. Chotamate! Chotamate! Speaking of mom, I had to write something about my mom. So I gotta tell her something, and this just reminded me. Stop! Why did I think that? Kana's not like mom. Um, yeah, that'd be nice. Wait here for me, guys. I'll go get Galvin. Be right back! Don't get distracted with cosplayers. No promises! <laughs> Figures. <Y> yeah. <laughs> Whoa, are you okay? Lonan gave me a few pats on the back. Yes, thanks. I'm I'm fine. All good. Just choked on my own spit. 
on spit on spit really ren why the hell did i say that why <laughs> i see oh god even lonan thinks that that was weird just make the earth freaking swallow me today was hectic wasn't it but it was a lot of fun yeah it was I'm really happy we're finally able to meet in person. I hope we can do this again when our schedules match up. M me too. I had a good time. Ren? Uh, yes, I put her- I put her too high pitched. Apologies. Are you really okay? Um, I... You look kind of uncomfortable. I'm going to wash my face. R Be right back. Thank you, Tom. Be hydrate. Shit. Shit, shit. Why? Why am I always like this? We were all having a great time before. Why did I have to go and make things awkward? I was making so many weird faces, too. He probably thinks I went to poop instead of washing my face. What if they think I wasn't being genuine? That I was faking everything? What if... Anxiety! <gasps> Imposter syndrome! We... We... Yep. Yep. Yes. What if they think I'm just an imposter? Everyone goes through this, I swear to God. Okay, so... They said it was six already, but it's only 2.15 on the time. I'll see you. I'll see you, game. June 4th, 2.15, Eon Building, GameCon Main Area. I like the way you're dressed, funny man. I know it's the words, but... Ugh. Ah! Not thanks to my combination of running while overthinking, I bumped into someone hard, which sent the things they were carrying all over the floor. Hey, watch where you're going. I'm sorry. Huh? His face looks kind of familiar. And that badge. Seems he's part of the staff here. Honestly, what would you have done if they broke? These things aren't cheap and difficult to get. Um... I'm sorry? Is that all you have to say? Uh... I already apologized. What else does he want me to do? Help him pick up the items that fell on the floor, make a joke- uh, I guess I'll- uh, Obviously if I drop something, I'm gonna help him pick it up. Yeah, guys, if anything, if you feel triggered by anything, please step away. There's no- no... You are most important. Please, 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 if anything triggers you in any way, you don't feel comfortable. Even if it's not a trigger, but you don't feel comfortable, walk away. It's fine. I still love you. No hard feelings. Take care of yourself first. Right. I'll help you pick everything up. Good. These look like adapters? They're kind of heavy. Maybe converters? I guess what Kana said about the staff needing a lot of these was true. The foreign devs probably need them for their computers and monitors. Okay, looks like everything's in place. Seriously, don't run here. Now, if you'll excuse me. Jeez, you could have at least thanked me. Although, to be fair, I am the one who bumped into him. At least this helped me calm down a bit. I should find Kana and Lonan. And be honest with them about my anxiety. I am connecting with Ren more and more and more. Better let Lonan know I'm going back to Gidget's booth. <gasps> we have a- we have Gidget as a back screen! Oh, that's so guilt! Uh-huh. Why is it almost dead? I'm sure I charged it the whole night! That bird cosplayer's game- card game was cool! Right? A damn shame he wasn't selling it. Whatever, what, what should, whatever. What should we do now? Well, I was gonna say the game dev panel, but it just passed by the room after leaving the restroom and they said it was getting delayed. What? Are you serious? 
Yeah, something about equipment malfunctioning or whatever. That fucking sucks! I was so hyped for it. Why hasn't Kana messaged us about the delay? She's always the first one to update about this stuff. Chillax, dude. It's not like they canceled it. For now, at least. <sighs> I guess. Well, then what happened? I don't know, man. But there were some problems yesterday, too. Something about their exchange sent a shiver down my spine. So again, there's going to be some flashes and things like that, and I think the screen is going to shake. Please, please, please be careful if that um, affects you in any way. What? What the hell? Did you see that? I forgot who gave got who I got who I gave what voice to because it's just one and two. But you know we go with it. Oh, for fuck's sake! If they have such a shitty power generator, you bet your ass I'm never coming here again. Right there with you, man. Shit! Monin, I'm sorry for the wait. My phone... He wasn't there anymore. Lonin? Neither was Kana. No, don't panic. Uh, maybe there's a signal here. I still have a bit of battery. My phone just died. Did my phone just fucking die? God damn it, why now? They must be in the panel room already. I think it was near the main area. My stomach churned at the sound of electricity. That was the second time. Left and right, forward and backwards. No matter where I looked, That was a weird sound coming from outside. As in, like, car accident weird sound. I didn't like that. Chrissy, wake up! I don't like this! No matter where I looked, my eyes only found those those of strangers. There's way too many people. I, I can't look for them like this. Right as I wiped the sweat away from my forehead before it touched the ground, I caught a strange reflection in one of the TV monitors. I lifted my head to the ceiling. I'm not gonna lie, that scared the shit out of me. I... It, it's not... I don't think it's supposed to be a scary game. But I don't know why I immediately thought demon. That... Oh... God, oh, okay. <sighs> Breathe. Something small and black was staring at me. Something with red eyes. Is that a crow? The flickering lights were no more. Darkness enveloped the Eon building like the night covered the sky every evening. A few voices protested out loud in equal manner of confusion and bewilderment. I felt queasy. There were vibrations under my feet. It wasn't exhaustion. A slow but steady cracking sound reached my ears and, when I turned to look, my eyes as well. The walls were breaking. And then, the first pillar fell. Holy... This escalated quickly. The mild an anxiousness from before turned into screams. People started running all over, even shoving themselves, desperately searching for the safest area amongst the room. Out of my way, bitch! Ugh, you fucker! Some hid under the tables. Others tried to reach the front door, only to be crushed by a pillar or knocked by a big piece of rubble. Help! Please, I don't want to die here! Mommy! Like a hungry animal killing its prey, the Eon building quaked violently, leaving a storm of debris, blood, and chaos on its path. <laughs> Kana! Lonin! The only responses were more tremors and the cries of people. <laughs> Fuck! A sudden crack startled me, but it was so dark that I couldn't see where the imminent danger was coming from. Ah! By sheer luck, what hit me was a small piece of rubble, but it still left a wound on my forehead. 
The blood dripped all the way down to my chin. Ugh. Kana. Lonin. And then, without any warning, almost as if it were greeting me, a powerful vibration made itself known. It didn't come from the earth. It came from my clothes. What? The shine of whatever was shaking inside my pants pocket made them a bit translucent. I reached my hand to take it out. A pocket watch? Ren, look out! I don't know who saved me or who called that, but... Date, time, location, who the fuck knows? I sure as hell don't. Yeah, who who summoned the demons? I didn't I didn't approve of this. Like No. Okay, you can't you can't quick save, okay. I'm just making sure like we weren't in a thing where we couldn't even save. Ugh. It hurts. Where am I? Is that a person over there? I can't see. Who is it? L. Ak. What? L. Ak. Ren. I can't hear you. Ren. It's the bird! But it's a human now. Or it's a, it's a demon. It's a, I don't know. A murder of crows. My head. Ugh! Who are you, bird boy? What? My room? Oh yeah, first place again, baby. What? You're full of shit. Why, how do you get all the best items? What the hell? Oh, police. It's called being a great player, dude. Chance has nothing to do with being a great player. This game is rigged. Don't you think so too, Runny? How can I be here? I was at the game con mere seconds ago. Ren? Wasn't I? Renny, can you hear us? Did that really not happen? Ren! Uh, sorry guys. Yep, hear you loud and clear. Are you okay? You spaced out for a bit. Please tell me you're getting enough sleep or I'll kill your boss. I am, don't worry, I'm really okay. I guess work just left me a bit more tired this week. Things have been a bit hectic. You know you can talk to us, right? Yeah, you don't have to bottle it all up, girl. Well, well-being comes first, and all that. Damn right. Plus, we can always schedule gaming for another day. Guys, I... Ren, are you busy right now? I need you to look at this. No way. What's up, Ren? Wasn't that your phone? Ah, uh, yeah, my boss. Again? You're already tired as hell as it is, and she has the nerve to send you messages this late? Yeah. What did she say, Ren? Was it something bad? Ah, uh, no, 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 don't worry, it's just... I feel like she sent me something similar before. <sighs> I can definitely see why you'd feel like you're having deja vu moment. Huh? Deja vu? Yeah, doesn't she basically text you for favors and more work? Well, when you put it that way, I guess it's the usual same old, same old. Not that that's any good. Ugh, another message. Just mute her, girl! Mute her! Mute her! Mute her! <laughs> you know what? I think I would- Ren, sweet pea! You won't believe who I just had dinner with! Remember my friend Camilla from gym class? We happened to see each other at the mall. Guess what I found out? Camilla has a nephew who's about your age. Why don't you try meeting him? 
I can set a date for you. These aren't... No, there's there's got to be some kind of mistake. Oh my god, guys, I almost forgot. Don't tell me to just... Don't tell me to defrost your meat again. Shit, be right back. <laughs> you actually forgot? I wasn't even being serious, lol. All right, I'm ready now. Check your phones for a sec. The game con tickets. Dun, dun, dun. This can't be happening. Masaka, the legendary game con tickets. Ding, ding, ding. Holy shit, Kana, that's so cool. You bet your ass it is. My bro gave them to me. I was thinking, why don't we go together? Yes, hype. What do you say, Renny? Kana, can you tell me when the GameCon is being held? Oh, right. GameCon actually starts on Thursday, but the tickets are for this Saturday. But didn't you already mention a convention a few days ago? Did I? Really? I don't remember. Hmm, let's see. Galvin only gave me the tickets yesterday, and I'm pretty sure I didn't mention it to you guys until today. That's not possible. But don't worry, I must have confused it with another event then. What the hell is going on? Don't mind, don't mind. At least you didn't confuse a tuna can with cat food. It was one time, okay? Did I really get the time wrong? Just to make sure, I grabbed my phone and, and observed the time. I did the same with my laptop, by letting my eyes travel to the bottom right corner of the screen. May 31st, 11.49 p.m. Are you sure you're okay, Ren? You usually laugh when we joke around. I... Holy shit, it's almost midnight?! I have work tomorrow! Seriously? During the long weekend? Um, sorry to interrupt you guys. I think my phone and laptop's calendar got reset accidentally. Uh, what day is it today? Damn, girl, you really need to go rest ASAP. <laughs> it's May 31st. Well, almost June 1st, actually, but you get the gist. A sudden vibration in my pocket distracted me from Lonin's next words. It started shining as well, as if it desperately needed to get my attention. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Slow and steady, my hand uncovered the mysterious object from the confinements of my clothes. A pocket watch. Not just any pocket watch. One with a beautifully crafted design of a hummingbird. It shimmered and shaked, shaked and shimmered, as if it was trying to tell me something. Open me. Open me. Open me. I couldn't hear Kana and Lonin anymore. Time had all but stopped, but the pocket watch kept talking to me. My hand traveled over the hummingbird's feathers, all the way down to the cover's edge. Open me. Click. I'm so, I am so entranced, enthralled, all the other. Entranced, enthralled, and enticed? Can I be enticed? I'm, I'm so into this game. Your movie went all over the place, Dawn? Oh God. Date, time, location. Who the fuck knows? Huh? With a slight heaviness in my body, I got on my feet and observed my surroundings. The place looked almost like an autumn park, but a few odd things stuck out. A tree with a small fairy door, a pond with unnatural, unnatural glittering water, a small clock with wings floating in the corner of the room. 
but most of all, a person with an otherworldly appearance playing cards on the tree stump table in front of them. It's the bird! My stomach flipped. I'd been here before. Are you gonna stand there all day? The moment he looked at me, I noticed his eyes were also out of the ordinary. They were red and imposing, like a ruby. Or, some would say, like blood itself. You've really kept me waiting, little bird. Little bird? I've beaten Devil's Grip like 50 times already. Really starting to get bored over here. Uh... Ah, or maybe... Could it be? Contrary to his disheveled, feathery costume, the man stood up and approached me with precise and elegant steps. Perhaps you're a little shy. Who are you? What is this place? For a moment, he seemed taken aback by my questions. Almost immediately, though, he ra his raised eyebrows were replaced by a knowing stare and a mischievous grin. Right. Where are my manners? They call me Invar, one of the sorcerers of time existing across the universe. A Time Reaper! If you will. What better? What better than a reaper playing a game with a fellow reaper? Hello, Invar. My name is Reaper Babe. Nice to meet you. Um, I'm just of the normal reaping sorts. Uh, but to be honest, I'm, I'm kind of leaning more to, you know, like stealing hearts, re reaping hearts, if, you, if you'd like. Uh, pleasure to meet you. Um, time reapers. Cool shit. Haven't done anything to me. Uh, let's, let's work together in the, let's work together soon. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Welcome to the hourglass, little bird. Where time flies, no more. Where time is ripe for investigating the past and assessing the future. Will it be all a waste of time? Or will you have the time of your life? That only time will tell. Um, I'm afraid you've lost me. So, you're like a demon? I prefer to call myself a time reaper. Reapers and demons have similar characteristics and like, I guess they're in lots of same stories. But reapers, um, let me tell you, are, are different. I'm not gonna go into the details, but just so you know, from a reaper, we are different. Just, just throwing that out there. Right, and this place. Am I dead? Is is this a limbo? My, what a curious little thing. Are you dead? Well, let me ask you something. Do you feel dead? I... What? What does death mean to you? Do you want to know if your heart has stopped beating, or if your soul has gone to the afterlife? Um, both, I think. Well, aren't you a greedy little bird? Though I can't say I dislike those who strive for knowledge. Just please tell me. I'm freaking out enough as it is. Hmm, fair enough, I suppose. It's not every day you get crushed by a pillar, am I right? What did he say? That's not... Is that what... What happened? So it wasn't a dream. Oh, definitely not, little bird. Definitely not. I had the best seat after all. What? Wait. Like a playful rascal, Invar covered his mouth to feign in innocence. You were that crow. Right, you are. But, but then... If I... An uncontrolled chill made me shiver like a leaf. If I died, then what am I doing here? Well, well, wouldn't you like to know? I'm not playing games here. Did you do something to me? What? What about my friends? 
Are, are they all right? <laughs> Whoa there, one question at a time, little bird. Mm. I regret to tell you that no one survived that building's collapse. Before I could say anything, Invar held a palm in the air to stop my outburst. However, that was only in said timeline. What do you mean? The you from this time is very much alive. So are your friends. Th then... That means I turn back time? How? Little bird, you wound me! Have you already forgotten what I told you? What I am? S so... You saved us then! Y you gave me the pocket watch, right? Th thank you so much! <laughs> you flatter me! I only provided the opportunity. Not everyone knows how to use the talisman or, as you like to call it, pocket watch. The fact that you did proves just how much you wanted. No. You needed to change this outcome. Otherwise, it would have been game over. <laughs> okay, well, thanks for the encouragement. Uh, but... Wait a second. If all the pocket watch did was turn back time, then everything will go down the same road. Not necessarily. Huh? You've already noticed some changes, right? This time, your friend didn't tell you about the event using that weird rectangle you humans love to waste so much time on. Instead, you heard her tell, tell you about the tickets in real time, with her own voice. I guess that's true. That still doesn't explain how the hell I'm able to remember the previous timeline, but not them. Who knows? He knows. He definitely knows. I guess he won't tell me, though. Be that as it may, time is money. If you don't want things to go down the same path, you'll have to do things differently. Time can stop only so much after all. Oh, I did not click that! There we go. I did not click that! If you don't want things to go down the same path, you'll have to do things differently. Time can only be... Time... Oh my god! See, I'm not touching it. That's moving on its own. I don't like it. I'll see if I can do this again. Time can only stop only so much after all. The hourglass is not almighty. <laughs> the energy has to come from somewhere, you know. Then, what should I do? You suddenly give me all these options, but no real explanation. What the hell am I supposed to do? I... I really don't want things to end up the same way. I don't want my friends to die! I don't want to die! My tears kept overflowing without any sign of stopping. I bawled like I hadn't in a long while. Trying to keep the anguish in was no use anymore. Very well. <laughs> huh? I will teach you how to use time magic. R really? Yes, really. It's no fun if I keep all the trump cards to myself, ain't it? There's no harm in giving you some hints. Why are you helping me? Am I, though? Time magic isn't without its consequences, you know. And bear in mind, at the end of it all, you will have to pay the price. <laughs> I'm not a charity case. I suppose that's fair. As long as I can keep my soul, that is. But of course, little bird. I'm a time reaper, not a grim reaper. I'm more of the grim reaper variety, if anyone's- if anyone was curious. Again, just- just a little differences, we're not all the same. I just love the fact that there's reapers mentioned. I feel- I feel so seen. 
I don't really understand the difference. Oh, Ren. Oh, we can have a long talk. You will. Eventually. But still, that doesn't explain why you reached out to me and not the other people during the collapse. My, you're a curious little bird, aren't you? I am. <laughs> I just can't get enough of you. You want a reason? There's your reason. I find you interesting. I don't know if I should be flattered or terrified. Now come, little bird. I used to keep crying over spilled milk, am I right? It's time to learn. Welcome to Hourglass, little bird. It is time I give you a crash course on time magic. I hope you're ready, because I won't be repeating myself. Even if it's you. Sheesh, put some pressure, will you? As I'm sure you've already noticed, the Hourglass is a magical space. A pocket dimension, if you will. Where time stops altogether. I see. So if I go back to my own dimension, it'd be as if time had never passed? Precisely! You catch on fast, little bird. Stopping time is the main power provided by my talisman, or, as you like to call it, the pocket watch. Once you exit the hourglass, you'll be able to find it on the right side of the text box. Whenever you touch it, you'll be able to come here. If, you've already, if you're already in the hourglass, though, the talisman will be on your upper right of the screen. Click on it, and it'll send you back to your own dimension. Okay, simple enough. This, this is giving me, um, Life is Strange vibes when you can, um, rewind time. And make a different decision. Posture check and a hydrate. Appreciate you, Tompy. Oh god, the lifespan of a Ren is only seven years. Rip MC that, I guess. But Sleepy, did you Google human Wrens or did you Google uh, bird Wrens? There's a difference. Very well. I guess it's time to finally show you around the hourglass then. First of all, the fairy tree. The one with the little door. Click on it and you'll access your collections or inventory. My inventory? What would I even put in there? Magical... Uh, time items? <laughs> Good guess. Something like that. Inside the fairy tree, you'll be able to store memory shards, mementos, and paradoxes. Para what now? Let's go in order so as not to get lost, shall we? So one thing about doing voices is that if I change my headphones, I sound different and I can't match my tone at all. So I have to actually put it back here. In other words, shut up and be patient. Blue and yellow memory shards are items you'll get whenever you make a choice that raises affection with a love interest. Think of it as a bonus for choosing correctly. While yellow shards represent more lighthearted memories, blue shards are for more powerful ones. Whenever you collect two yellow shards, or three blue shards, you'll get a memento. Essentially, mementos are Polaroid pictures with a yellow or blue frame, depicting special memories between you and your love interests. Why does this feel like I'm in some kind of Otome game? Who, who, um, who, who's gonna, who's gonna tell her? Who, who's gonna tell her? Cause, um, I, I, I thought it was kind of obvious, but I, I guess, I guess not. <laughs> Wait, but how will I know if I made the right choice? I'll make sure you notice. Don't worry about that. Oh boy. The other type of shards you can get are red shards. 
which are obtained when you investigate the time pond. Can you see it behind me on the lower right of the screen? Yeah, and over here. Oh, you guys probably can't see it because my camera's in front of it. But it's, it's behind me. I'm chilling. I'm chilling in a pond. I'm chilling in the time pond right now. Yeah, it's one of the things that caught my eye when I got here. I'm not surprised. The time pond is the most special thing about this place. Dare I say, the most important. The time pond will allow you to investigate the different areas you've been to in the past and find contradictory items. Inconsistencies, if you will. Think of it as if you were investigating a photograph from the inside, but only you were able to move. That's kind of badass. Inconsistencies? Like what? Hmm. Like finding a toothbrush on the street, for example. Or even something that wouldn't necessarily be weird per se, but that appears at the wrong time. Like, say, finding an event ticket at your house before your friend even gives it to you? Well, that wouldn't make much sense, would it? Oh, I get it. Hmm. But still, how would I even know when to investigate the time pond? It'd be a bit of a bother to keep clicking the pocket watch every two seconds. You won't need to, little bird. The talisman will tell you when it's time. If you ever see it shining brightly, touch it quickly before it becomes dull again. Once you're in the hourglass, you'll notice that the time pond will have a shiny flower on top. That's your cue to enter the minigame. Okay. Okay, so I got it. So then once I'm investigating the time pond, I have to find the inconsist inconsistencies, right? Is that what will give me the red shards? Precisely. Every time you find an inconsistency, it'll turn into a red shard. Find three of them, and the shards will transform into a paradox. Then the paradox will be added into your inventory. Just like the mementos, the paradoxes will also look like a blurry Polaroid picture. Blurry Polaroid picture. Only with a red frame instead. But why are they blurry? You'll have to wait and see. It wouldn't be any fun to give you all the answers after all. Boo! And that little bird marks the end of this tour. Or tutorial as you humans call it. Hope you had a fun time learning about magic. Fun learning about time magic. There's a difference. We didn't just learn about magic. We learned about time magic. Wait, what about the flying clock with wings? Oh, that's the Memento Gallery. You'll be able to see all the CGs and background images over there. Similar to what you can already see on your rectangular thingy. Interesting. Not as interesting as you. What? Ta-ta, little bird! It's the end of the road. Okay, I think I got the gist of it, probably. What's up, Natsukusa? Good evening! <laughs> That's a little late to say you jo joined my cult. Dang. Well, as they say, practice takes time. <sighs> Give it a rest with the time puns, will you? Oh, not a fan of happy fun times? Oh my god, stop. Does he even understand what he's saying? Oh well. I suppose it's gotten a bit late. What? Didn't he say time stops here? I know what you're thinking, little bird. But my time magic can only maintain a human in the hourglass space for so long. I need to replenish my energy or I'll be in a pickle. God, why didn't you say so before? I'll, I'll go back right now. Thank you, little bird. Do you remember how to get back? Yes. I just have to touch the pocket watch again, right? Invar merely smiled and bowed his head a little. Whether he was nodding or making a mock reference, I don't know. Alright, I'm going. I'm looking forward to our next meeting, Ren. May 31st, 11.49pm, Ren's apartment, bedroom.
M Masaka, the legendary game con tickets? Ding, ding, ding! Holy shit, Kana, that's so cool! Huh, I'm back. You pet your ass it is! My bro gave them to me. I was thinking, why don't we go together? Yes, hype! What do you say, Renny? Okay, you've got this, Ren. Don't freak out this time. I'm in. I want to meet you guys in person. Woo! Go us! But, Kana, where's the game con held? I know it's a long weekend, but... Oh yeah, now that you mention it, last year's game con was in the middle of nowhere. Foo-foo-foo! <laughs> Worry not, my friends. This is the year that'll change everything. Here it comes. This year, game con's being held at the Eon Building. A new building that opened up recently and... Hear me out on this. It's only one block away from Solstice's main street. Get out of here, are you serious? Damn right I am, dude. That's amazing. Right? You guys still live in Solstice City, don't you? Yee. Yep. The conversation went along very similar... Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Can I move around my mic? Are you guys okay? You okay? Sorry. The conversation went along very similarly to how it'd been the first time around. Kana went on to explain all she knew about the Eon building, as well as how the tickets she got from Galvin were for Saturday only, since she had to work before the weekend and Sunday was too close to the beginning of the following week. The only difference was that this time we were voice chatting instead of texting. All right, the time has come for me to think about the best course of action. My first option is to try and meet Kana's brother, Galvin. Being an event planner for the game con, helping him could probably allow me to get a lot of useful information. But it's a bit risky since I don't really know him except for what Kana's told me about him. The other option is to let Kana and Lonin know about the building's collapse. Obviously omitting, omitting the part where I traveled back in time, but maybe using some kind of other excuse? Lonin loves mysteries, so maybe a rumor would do the trick? He could think it's too stupid, though. Okay, I've made up my mind. Um, guys, can I ask you something? Sure. Shoot, girl. Well, I was thinking... Ugh, this is embarrassing. Do you think we can meet before Saturday? Tomorrow, even? I'm... I'm sorry for the short notice, but I... Well, since it's a long weekend and all, I, I wanted to make the most of it by spending as much time with you as possible. Um, guys? Ready, Ready! What the? He gets to think you want to meet us that much? Who brought all the onions? <laughs> Thank God they can't see my face right now. Of course, Renny! I had work in the evening, but I should be free until about 3 p.m. I just didn't suggest meeting up earlier because I thought you guys might be busy or maybe wanted to do something else. I feel the same. I know I joke around a lot, a lot of the time, but I mean it when I say you guys are special to me. Of course I'd love to meet you in person even sooner. Flock of gamers, unite! Guys. No. I shouldn't cry now. Why don't we meet at Main Street tomorrow at around 12? We could get lunch together. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Yes, let's. And so the flock of gamers agreed on meeting the next day. It would surely be a special time for us all. I'll save you guys, no matter what. And with that, I think chapter two is a great place to stop. Let's make a quick save. Can I, what's this? Can I go here? Save. Exit. What's log? Oh, the log, it has all, sorry, I clicked out of it. The log has all the stuff, so if you miss anything, you can go back. How far back can we go? Oh, okay, so it only goes back 
um, a little bit, but that's nice if you forget anything. Let's exit. Can I exit the game? This is, how does one's exit? Wait, does this work? Oh, no. Okay, so right clicking brings us to this and I saved it. And then I can come over here and then we can go to re return. Are you sure you want to return to the main menu? Yes, because I saved it. That was so, so good. So cool. Uh, characters? Awesome. I, I'm pretty sure Galvin's the guy we knocked into. I'm, 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 I know that I, like, I'm 99.9% .9 sure. Um, I kind of want to know why the building was going to, like, why did it collapse? Was that just a freak accident or is that like, is it a mystery that we're going to find out? Um, everything is super intriguing. And uh, the art, the art is just simply gorgeous all across the board. I like that we're about to do mini games and things like that. That was so good. There's still no smooches. I guess I'm not playing enough of the games to see smooches yet, but I, I, I'm, 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 I've already chosen my one for this. I've already chosen the one I'm going to romance, so. I've already chosen, cause it's a. Uh, I I I I, yeah. I've chosen. I know who it's gonna be. But anyway, YouTube. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, if you want to check out this game for yourself, all the information is down in the description box below, as well as my social media. So again, if you want to come hang out with us live on Twitch, check that out. I don't know when this vod will be going up on YouTube, but. Even if it's not September, you can still check out the playlist that has all the other Otome games that I played during Sexy Spicy September. So I hope you do that. And with that, I hope you have a great day, night, wherever you are in the world. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.